What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time to news, baby. Today, we got 98 mods on the testing list, and we got six modders to talk about, including the Case H8900. Ooh, let's check it out. Starting off today with the mods and testing, we have a total of 98 mods on the list, up from the 57 that we had yesterday. Of the mods today, 79 are PC testing, and 19 are for console testing. Some notable mods and PC testing today include the Auto Load Pack, Case IH Magnum 8900 series, yep, it's back, and the Fenton 900 Favorite Vario. Also in testing, we have International 55 Chisel Plow, John Deere 4755, Larger Capacity Pallets, and the Mendaco Storm S4020. Rounding out the PC mods and testing, we have the Massey 5700S, 6700S 2020 series, which didn't this mod just get started last week? That was quick. Roll Belt 150 and start from zero. Interested to see what that could be. Maps in first stage of testing today include a lot I can't pronounce, but we're going to do it anyway. Araguay Valley Map, Banyal Breezy, Edge Farm, Gelderland, Glandethal, Oberleitner, Old Kiwi Farm, Thornton 22 Revamp, Try, Welker Farms Map, and Boss Nice. Moking our way over to console testing. Some notable mods include the Asaria Scout Larger Ranges. That'll come in handy. Fiat 70C and the John Deere 437D Sawbuck. Rounding out console mods today, we have Cell Silo, Star 8150, ooh, and the TLX 2020 series update. Maps in testing right now for console include more I can't pronounce. Uh, Mazozwika Nizina? I don't know. Uh, Untercrabbuck and Hillaby Creek. I got that last one. All being said, we still have 118 mods that anyway need to be tested, down from 150 from yesterday. The current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is still four work days. Giants have released gameplay from their extended preview of the Platinum Edition machines from FarmCon. And if you missed it, they showed off Volvo L200H wheel loader, an older model Volvo Globetrotter semi truck from the late 80s, John Deere 843L2 harvester with the FD55 head, John Deere 848L skidder, a winch slash yarder, and the Impex Hannibal T50 wood harvester. A few of these we knew about, and a few of them we saw for the first time a few weeks go at FarmCon. I know there's been a lot of buzz around the winch and the skitter and how they work, so hopefully soon we'll be getting more information and detailed gameplay showing off the physics. Quick heads up, Sid Modding's John Deere 5060 STS series combine harvester was removed from consoles only yesterday. It's still on PC right now. This is usually because of licensing for a particular part. My guess is one of the grain bins was not licensed. Sid has not said anything publicly about this yet, but I'm guessing that's exactly what it is. Either way, there's no issue with the harvester itself, and if you've still got it on console, uh, no reason to delete it, keep using it and having fun, but I will keep you guys updated on this once more information is out. Quick update, actually, I just spoke with Sid and he said that the reason was actually the unlicensed grain bin, but that will be fixed this evening and he's gonna be sending it back for updated testing. So keep an eye out for that. Casarius Modding is back and so is their Case IH 8900 series. This was a very popular tractor in Farm Sim 19 on all platforms and soon you'll be able to drive it again. It's already in testing as you guys saw. Some notable features about this mod include different tire brands from Michelin, Continental, Trailerborg, and rebranded Firestones as Lizards. We we'll also have fenders, beacon lights, a front option for rock box, weight or nothing, exhaust pipe and rim colors, two different widths for the two wheel drive model on the front, mirrors, monitors, quick hitch, and is precision farming ready. As the mod is currently going through testing for the first time right now, there is a chance that it could fail, so don't be surprised if it does. Most mods do the first time around, but hey, it's happening and it's going to be here soon. EY Modding is back with us today, showing off his Farmall Ilm with the wider front axle compared to the Farmall H that we got last month. The tractor itself looks to be maybe a little bit bigger in the front, but that maybe is the only difference. It might even be the same, just the colors. If you like Farmalls, but you don't like that trike look that we got, well, this one's for you. North Modding Company is also brings back a popular mod, the Lizard Forwarder Trailer. But when I say they're bringing it back, this is a new trailer but it's really similar to their Ponzi Elephant King trailer that they had back in Farm Sim 19. Works exactly the same. Uh, this is gonna work with forwarders in the game to extend the capacity for each trip, meaning less time driving around. It's gonna have an extendable drawbar as well as bunks that can move in and out to let you load more logs or maybe less if you need that. The mod is currently being worked on right now and will be for all platforms. Omatana's working on another building, this time an American barn, big enough for tractors and some smaller combine harvesters. It's going to be available in a plain version or with a multi-fruit silo or even a hayloft. She's also looking into making one with a small loft with a sleep trigger in it, kind of like a house. 
Still in the very early stages, as you can tell, but it's really cool to see something like this, and from none other than a great modder like Almaton. Elk Mountain Modding also joins us today for the first time since about April, I think, with an update on what they've been up to the past few months. They say the life has been very busy, but they're still working on things slowly, but they're still working on it. Along with Wyoming Map for all platforms, which you guys have asked about, that's still in development right now. And he's also working on a new house mod, which you can see here. It's one of the best at modeling these, and he's planning on sending this to Mod Hub once it's finished for all platforms. How cool is that? Not much else going on right now, at least from him, but it is great to see that he's still at it and that the Wyoming map is still a thing for consoles. That's awesome. And lastly today, FSG Modding has some new screenshots from the upcoming Green Mountain map, showing off the progress that they've made over the past few weeks. It's a small taste of what's to come, and it's looking great. You guys want to get a closer look at it? Check out FSG Modding on Facebook, link below. And if you want to get a closer look at how self-aware segways are made, first you're going to need a Lego set with only 10 pieces, a 10-piece nuggy from McDonald's, and 10 rubber bands. Don't ask, these are the rules, I don't make them up. And just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything that we talked about today can be found in the description. It's my release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So, make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you want to know about and some things you need to know about as well going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that's going to be it for today hope you enjoyed the video if you did drop a like on it get subscribed if you're new join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel what's up hope you have a great day we will see you later Twice a year a day comes up that I just despise so much. My dentist appointment. Oof.